So I've got a costume party that I'm going to be going to in a couple weeks here. And I have not worn a Halloween costume in about five years. But I have some Halloween costumes and I'm not going to go out and buy a new one. So I figured I'm going to go try on the costumes that I've got, see which one sticks, and then that's probably what I'll end up going as. But kind of gives me an opportunity to show off some of the costumes that I have, so here we go. I like doing that. It makes me feel like Q from Star Trek. Let's do it again. Okay, so this was actually the last costume that I ever bought about five years ago. Animal from the Muppets. I've got the mask here and everything. And one of the cool things I thought about was it came with real drumsticks. So, but you got the chain collar and everything. And this is actually the largest one that I could find. It's actually very form-fitting. You can actually see how much of a gorilla I am in this. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, uh... The mask is actually kind of long on me, even with the hat on. Like if I, I could probably adjust this a bit. Right, the eye holes are in the mouth. <laughs> For whatever reason. <laughs> So there's this one. Can't really wear my hat. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Alright, of course I could be a Ghostbuster. This one's my favorite one. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about it is you get this proton pack that's inflatable, right? And, I don't know, I mean it's, it's a good quality inflatable one, but when I had bought this I had originally planned on making one of my own, you know, custom repli replica uh, proton packs. And I just couldn't afford all the materials that I wanted, uh, would have wanted to use at the time. So I figured that'll just be a fun little down the road project. But uh, I don't know. I think it's funny because this thing actually kind of freaks my dogs out. <laughs> Oliver in particular will just bark like crazy at this thing. But and I'm six foot five, so like the <laughs> belt for this actually rides way up high, like just below my rib cage. And uh, it's not exactly practical to pull this off, but this does come off. So, I don't know. I like this one. This one's my favorite. Good old classic Ghostbusters costume. I thought it was pretty cool. So, uh, now let's move on to something that I've actually uh, been developing myself over the years. Alright, so this one I'm the most proud of because I've actually been developing this one over the years. See, this shirt actually was the first part of it. And it was a uh, long time ago, I used to work in a photo lab and I had a friend named Liz and she made shirts like this for renaissance fairs and I was a big guy at the time and this is actually a rather large sh uh, shirt and uh, she gave it to me, it's always fit and even now it's become like my pirate shirt which is, you know, terrific, uh, you know, sometimes I have a, a string and stuff to close this up and it still stays open and stuff, I got this like swashbuckler look and uh, it's just developed over time. Uh, the last time I went to Disney World is actually when I acquired the uh, uh, Captain Jack dreadlocks and the hat. Like, well, I've used it in, in my uh, That's My DS short. Uh, and so, you know, this is one I, I intend to use more often because it's just fun to dress like a pirate. Like, uh, I, the last time I wore this costume was for my friend's son's graduation party. And... Uh, like, I actually went there once, I had to go home, and then I said, you better be careful, I'm going to come back dressed as a pirate. And I did, I came back dressed as a pirate. <laughs> so, I tend to wear this one uh, anyway, regardless of what's going on. Like, it doesn't even have to be Halloween for me to wear this one, because I'm Captain Jack. In a way, in a way. So, uh, I don't know. Well, why don't I get back into my normal clothes? So there you have it. Those are, the, those are the three costumes, the completed costumes that I have. So, I don't know. I haven't decided which one I want to use yet. Which one was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, make sure to like this video and tell your friends. Subscribe for more videos. And I hope you like this. Maybe I'll post an update. We'll see what happens. So until the next video, I'm still Jack, and you all have a great day.